We're such annoying dog people. It's like, we are so annoying real, dog people. He is the smartest. He's, he's really the smart. smartest dog. He fascinates me. He's just so interesting. He's just the smartest dog we know. Hey guys, I'm Jack O'Shea. And I'm Michaela Foscoe. And this is Who's On Top, the show where we each rank our top five favorite things about an exciting topic, and then you tell us who made the best list. Or, Who's on top? Who's on top? Okay, so today, Michaela, we are joined by a very special guest. It's our dog, Goose. This is Goose. And the reason why we're joined by Goose is because today we are gonna be ranking our top five favorite dog breeds of all time. In honor of his first birthday. In honor of his first birthday. So my number five is Rinker's number three. A lab. Labrador Retriever. I love labs. Yeah. And here's the thing, we love all dogs. This is why this was a hard list. Yes, it's very tough. I like a lab. Here's, here's why it has a lot of points, okay? I feel like it really is overall a full package dog because mm -hmm. it's a dog that's very trainable. It's a, mm -hmm. It looks like a friendly dog. That's yes. what I think. Where it's like everyone loves a lab. They always seem like friendly dogs. Uh, but also it's big enough and mm -hmm. strong enough that it can also be a protection dog. Yes. And they also have kind of like personality. Oh strong. my gosh. <laughs> Come to your mother. But they're also like golden retrievers in the way where it's like they have a lot of personality. Mm -hmm. Excuses. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I, I think overall it's a very full package dog. I, it makes sense golden retrievers are one, but I think if it weren't for Airbud, Labs would be number one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They're yeah. like golden retrievers, but they don't shed as much. Yes. Listen, if you want to sit on the table. Do you want to be table dog? You want to be dog on the table? Okay, so my number five is rankers number 37, the bulldog. Okay. I love Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. I know that they're like, you know, it's a cruel genetic thing that humans did to breed. We're not gonna include those thoughts in these lists. This is a happy, light list. Yeah, yeah I love Bulldogs. Mm -hmm. I think that they're one of the funnier dogs. They're one of those dogs where it's like, they remind you a lot of people. Like they always said that Winston Churchill is a Bulldog. Yeah. And it's like, if you look at Winston Churchill, he sort of has the look and demeanor of a Bulldog. And they have real personalities. Other dogs like that? Pugs. I think pugs are great. I'm gonna stop yeah. naming dogs because they might be on our list. But yeah, they, pugs and bulldogs do kind of have yeah. that same feel. You gotta love a dog where like a bulldog is really friendly. They're my, for the my, most part pretty dumb. But yeah. that's fun. That's a sweet thing. My only complaint with bulldogs really is I don't like how much they drool. Yeah. Really dogs do give me a little bit of a yuck. Yeah. By the way, Goose is now under the table. Goose is under the table. My number four is ranked as number 23. A pit bull. I love pit bulls. I think they're a beautiful dog in general. They're yeah, they really are beautiful. Pit bull puppies are like the cutest puppies in the world. So cute. Mm -hmm. Have your son. They're another full service dog where it's yeah. like you know they can provide protect protection. Also, okay, my favorite videos and, and actions are uh, from pit bulls because they always are doing something really silly mm -hmm. and really sweet. And it looks funny because they look so tough, yeah. but it's always like, look how gently they're carrying this egg. It's so sweet and there is nothing greater than like a really sweet pit bull. What's your number four? My number four is Ranker.com's number 11, the Corgi. My number three is a Corgi. So Corgis are, are great. They're one of those dogs where it's like their natural face makes it look like they're, they're smiling. smiling. And if that's not delightful, I don't know what is. I, I just, I love how they're built. Mm -hmm. They're just the little, little legs. They're like a Cadillac. Like they're low to the ground, yeah. but they're long. <laughs> and you're thinking, why? And that's the best part about a lot of these dogs. Like a, like a Corgi right. was bred to herd things. Yeah. And for some reason, how they're built is the ideal way to do that. They're also really smart. Yeah, that's what I wrote down. I said smart dog. Very, very smart, smart dog. dog. And they're also very sweet and they, you know, they shed a ton, but. They do shed a ton, but they are very, very cute. I mean, I don't think anybody's like, I don't like a corgi. Corgis are like, because they're like herding dogs. Those are dogs where they feel like they're supposed to have a job. So they're yes. always kind of on the move. Like, what, do I, what can I do? My parents got a corgi and yeah. it will like legitimately try to herd small children. Yeah. And it's the funniest thing, because they succeed. Okay, so my number three, Ranker.com's number 46, it's Goose. Or it's half of Goose, it's the Yorkshire Terrier. Goose is half Maltese, half half Yorkie. And I do love me some Yorkies. I do love me some Yorkies too. I'm just wondering why this isn't higher on your list. If they put Morky, if they put half Maltese, okay. half Yorkie, okay. that'd be number one for me. So I, I picked my favorite part of Goose, which is his Yorkie instincts. Of course. He is also a herder. He is also very smart, but he's small. We're such annoying dog people. It's like, we are so annoying dog people. He is the smartest. He's, he's really the smart. smartest dog. He fascinates me. He's just so interesting. He's just the smartest dog we know. He really, I mean, he's like a person. He's like a person. He's like as smart as your kid. He probably could like beat your kid in like a competition. What's your number two? My number two is Rankers number 17. 
the wiener dog. I love wiener dogs. Again, built so funny. They're low to the ground, they've got little legs and they're long. It's just like there's not many things in nature besides like a snake that's like, it's long. And I love the wiener dogs, especially like the brown ones. It's like, that's why they call them wiener dogs. Yeah. He looks like a hot dog. He looks like a hot dog. Yeah. For Halloween, you get to put them in a little costume. It's mm -hmm. a good time. Is there anything cuter than a puppy wiener dog? Oh my God. They're called Dashens, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I like wiener dog. I want to call them a wiener dog. You always call them wiener dog. Little wieners, yeah. little wieners. Uh, but yeah, I, I think they're just the, the cutest dogs in the world. The little legs, long body combo is just the funniest thing. In the it, world. it just makes you smile. My number two is Ranker's number two. It's the German Shepherd. Okay. I had to put the German Shepherd here. I've never had a German Shepherd. When it comes to like. I love that dogs have jobs. Yes, it's a dog with a job. And like the German Shepherd is like the only dog breed that like they went to college. Like they have like a really, like German Shepherds do most of the labor. They are so smart and so, like they're like the perfect dog. They're basically like wolves. Yeah. Except they're friendly to people and they, like. But they can also kick a person's ass. I'm so fascinated by like trained dogs, especially the ones where it's like, yeah, we, we take them to combat zones <laughs> and they, they decode bombs. Like yeah. there's just. It's like how on earth. What's your number one? Well, my number one is, of course, right because number 46 is the Yorkie. Mm -hmm. Yorkies are just so funny because you can have them like Goose where they're just silly or you could have them like a like a Paris Hilton moment where they're in your purse. Mm -hmm. And it's funny, you can accessorize them. They're lap dogs. Yeah. They're great. They're so much fun and they have so much personality. He's the king of standing up on his back two legs. Yes. So fascinating. That's what's great about little dogs is they, they try to get big and we get a kick out of it every time. We're like, look at that, he thinks he's people. It's so good. Yeah, I just love Yorkies. I think they're adorable. So my number one, all the way down at ranker.com to number 106. Woo! It's called a Borbul. I think it's also called a South African Mastiff. These dogs are so big, specifically in the head area. If you wanna know what type of dog this is, it's the dog from the same line. That's a Borbul. They are so big, like the pictures on the internet of like Borbuls with, uh, with children are hilarious. Yeah. because their heads are the size of the child. And they're so sweet, and I've always wanted a Borbul. They're like 300 pounds of just Jesus. sweetness. I mean, you want to talk about security? Like, That's a security dog. It's like an offensive lineman <laughs> pr protecting you. And the great name too, Borbul. I've always wanted one. We live in an apartment now, so. We'll, we'll get one one day. We'll, we'll, we'll leave a home. Mm -hmm. I literally saw the dog one time, and I was like, I'm gonna get one of those. Yeah. And then I can't wait till we do, because it'll be like, I said 10 years ago today, I want a Borbul, and here I am. Here I am. I got a Borbul. Okay, so there you have it, guys. Those were our top five favorite dog breeds. Do we miss any of your favorites? I'm sure we did. Let us know in the comments which are your favorites, and of course, head over to Ranker.com and vote your favorites to the top. And as always, let us know which one of us you guys think is the best list, or... Who's on top? Who's on top? Adios. Adios. Say bye, Goose. Say goodbye, Goose. Look how he stands. Like a little tap dancer. Yes. He's okay, he's okay. He's good, Bubba. All right, bye guys.